first of all, I had anxiety before it was cool. Okay. I had anxiety on TV <laughs> before it was like a thing. Um, I used to like scream out that I was having anxiety and everyone kind of looked at me funny. Like what, what's wrong with this kid? But now it's a lot, there's a lot more awareness behind it. And a lot of people are yeah. talking about it and people actually go back and they watch that season where I came out and spoke about having, um, anxiety and, uh, and people are like, Oh shit. Like I get it now. <laughs> Someone tweeted the other day. They're like, yeah, I totally watched that differently when I was a teenager <laughs> and you're watching Jersey shore just to, for the partying aspect of it to watching it now as an adult right. and being like, like after going through some stuff, you know, I, I started young with that. Yes. But basically, um, you know, I just, uh, I have a brain that I'm an overthinker and, um, I've had it since I was a little kid. And as you guys know, being on a reality show is a, is a, someone with anxiety's worst nightmare, um, because you are yeah. locked up. Uh, you know, you can't read a book. You can't turn on a TV. Can't, I mean, back in the day we were totally guerrilla style. We were closed off from the whole world. And, uh, for the most part, I, I did pretty, pretty good at it, but some, sometimes like at that particular time when we were filming, we had just filmed for like three months straight and my body, my brain just oh, wow. couldn't take it anymore. A lot of it is physical for me. And I just hadn't slept in like mm -hmm. a week. And if I don't sleep, I become Gosh. like manic. Like I'm just not myself anymore. And mm -hmm. I was like, guys, Same. I got to get out of here and just, yeah. and just sleep. And, uh, and that's what yeah. made me, uh, end up leaving and everything. And throughout the years, I've just developed like, a a toolkit of, you know, things that help me, um, with my thoughts and challenge my thoughts and contemplate them. A big part of that is physical and working out. And, um, it just equipped me over the years. And as you grow older, you start to recognize and see the anxiety for what it is instead of letting it totally consume you like I used to do in the past. So I always tell everybody now, my biggest message is to never seek perfection with it. And never seek to be cured of mm -hmm. it because you're never going to be perfect mm -hmm. and it's never going to happen. It's really right. just about managing mm -hmm. the stresses that happen yes. that come to you on a day to day basis because you will face those stresses. And it's just about managing them, yes. handling them and getting through to, to the next day. Yes, like be being present and I'm in when you are present, you say hi thought or hi, whatever that it thing is. And you deal with that one thing and then you get through it. I am. I love that. And I'm very much you're speaking to me, too, because I also suffer from anxiety and I have meditation has literally saved my life mm -hmm. from that. Um, but with the pandemic happening, how has that affected your anxiety and mental health now that you know, in the present day? So, um, I think basically it's like you just said, like being present is one of those tools in my toolkit. Going to the gym is another tool mm -hmm. in my toolkit. Um, being generous, mm -hmm. giving, uh, is another way to like shut down your mm -hmm. ego. Um, you know, sitting back and listening to your thoughts from an objective point of view is another item in my toolkit. And, um, my point of this all is like after developing those tips and tricks, no matter what you end up facing in life, you can apply those same uh, mechanisms to what's going on. So when the pandemic came around, it was actually easier for someone like me because I'm very used mm -hmm. to dealing with my obsessive negative mind and saying like, and laughing at mm -hmm. it almost um, from going through the stuff that I've gone yeah. through in the past. So when I was younger, and I'm not trying to sell my book here because it's like 10 years old, but I had a book called <laughs> control the crazy. And, um, you know, Ooh. I explained to people that, you know, you don't have to be, have anxiety. You don't have to have a depression. You don't have to have PTSD. You can use these, uh, you know, mechanisms of everyone should be present. Everyone should learn how to breathe. Everyone should do yoga. Everyone should work out because you're going to face challenges yes. in life. And like I said, this pandemic is, another one of those challenges for sure. And, and also like, I kind of like quarantine and stuff. Cause I'm like an introvert and I chill at home with my dog. <laughs> Wait, all day I love it too. Life, so <laughs> I'm like, this is lit. 